this is my book, Carrie and David, um, the Glen McCrory story. It is, um, it's my story, but it's also a tribute to my brother David, hence the title, Carrie and David. I used to carry my adopted brother to school um, for the child. He, he had a, a, a muscle waste disease, he was severely handicapped from a, from a young man. Um, I loved him dearly. He's the reason I became world champion. So either buy the book or look out for the movie because Carrie and David, the movie, is coming soon. So watch out for it. It is an inspirational story of a love affair between two brothers. And I miss him dearly. God bless. Get ready Do you know, I, I went through um, a terrible time in my... In my um, early adult life with with um, with mental problems, you know. With then um, there's a lot there's a lot talked about today, but you know we come from rough environments, and um, I had I had the sadness of um, a muscle wasting disease with my brother, and uh, it was very very tough. So I've suffered um, a lot in my life, and um, a lot of boxers have. Uh, but I also had the, the great times with my brother. He was there when I won the world title. He lived twice as long as he was forecasted to live. Um, he's missed dearly. So it's, it's, it's a good story. It's a good story. I lived it and um, it was very difficult and I've paid a big price for that. But I wouldn't change a thing. Is that the man that you are today? Most definitely. Most definitely. Um, it's been very tough and I've had a lot to go through and, and you know still do have ups and downs and but I know you know when I pass this world um, they can put on my tombstone Glen McCrory world champion he lived on the way home to our house that's where I live so we're going to talk just a little bit about Sky Sports we're going to get all the power to do you know, I, whenever I was lucky enough and grateful to be with Sky Sports 27 years, I had a, a great time there. I, see, I saw some of the greatest fights in history, met some of the greatest people, had tragedy, had, had heartache, had great, great nights, had, had some fantastic fights that I was witness to, Barrera Morales, Gatti, Ward, uh, you know, the Tyson, Lewis, Holyfield, the list is, is endless and it was, it was an amazing time and um, I'm, I'm very, very grateful for that time. It was, um, it was wonderful. Clever Crory, you know, is, 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 Clever <laughs> me, <laughs> me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for challenges. I'm always looking, as, as my brother would never give up, as my brother showed amazing mental strength, amazing physical strength, and was a true fighter. Um, you know, I, I feel I'm the same. I've had great, great obstacles in my way, and it's been very, very tough in my life, but I'm blessed. You know, I bless God every day for, for what he's given me. I've got beautiful, healthy kids. Um, you know, I've had great work, I've seen great people, I, you know, I've got wonderful, wonderful friends, so so I'm happy, I'm happy and I'm grateful for, for what I've got, not for what I've lost. The question is probably asked a thousand times to you, Glenn Montori versus Johnny Nelson, who wins and why? Man, <laughs> who is Johnny Nelson? <laughs> Do you know what, and people will say, listen, Johnny did fantastically well. And I would never take anything away from him. Um, I would call him a, a friend. And, and you know, he did terrific with his career. In 1989, Johnny Nelson was not even a threat, a challenger or a contender to Glenn McCrory in 1989 when I won the title. And that's a fact. End of. Story stops there. In 1996, when Johnny Nelson won the world title, whatever year it was, he was the champion of the world and good luck to him. I was doing Sky TV, so he would have beat me then. So, you know, Johnny Nelson, when he was champion, was, was the best. Glenn McCrory in 1989 was the best. And the argument ends there. I remember watching you fight. I remember watching you in the world title. I remember watching you fight in Lennox's And I remember you saying something on the 
some sort of and stuff in my pockets not the way it is. I did. You know, I, I fought Lennox Lewis simply because I had a tax bill. I got badly ripped off and badly handled and you know really badly handled in my in my professional career and that had a, a lot to do with severe problems later on because you know I never trusted anybody because of the mistrust I'd had from the people that were supposed to be looking after me. So Lennox Lewis I had to take um, pretty much to pay a tax bill. Um, and, and, and that was tough because I had to give up my pride, my integrity, everything. So I had to take a fight. I tried hard, uh, but you know I, I wasn't I wasn't up for that job at that particular time. If that had been a couple of years earlier when I fought Pat Lumumba, then you know I'd have given Lennox a fight. Swear to God. But you know this was Lennox was a heavyweight. I was really a cruiserweight, um, and I did it for the money. Uh, and you know I'm not ashamed of that. You know, I, I, I worked hard. I, I worked hard. I tried hard. I give it a go. Um, I know in the first round, which was brutal. First round was brutal. It was agony. It was it was um, amazing. And I know when Lennox came back after the first round, he was in agony. His fists were killing him. <laughs> but the second round, I did better. I had Lennox on his knees. He was giving me the kiss of life. I remember I trained with the army for that fight, the Green Howards. It was, it was amazing. They came in, the Royal Green Howard Band brought me into the ring. The British Medical Corps took me out. I don't know if you know the, the Royal Albert Hall, but it's a, it's, a, it's a long way to the dressing room. It's a good job I didn't have to walk back. You know what? I think we can laugh at life because we've lived life and we've seen life. And you know what? At the end of the day, no, none of us are getting out alive. So laugh when you can, enjoy what you can, live your life for the best you can. Be nice, be happy, and God bless you. No, he's not. You know, he's not a heavyweight. He fought. <laughs> best will of Tony Belly. He's a nice kid. I like Tony Belly. He's done great. He's done great. How to beat a failed light heavyweight. You know, he's got a cruiserweight title. Absolutely well done to him. He beat David Hay, but he beat David Hay with a, a busted leg. And uh, you know, the, the biggest, the biggest shame about that is David Hay had that busted leg when he went in the fight. I believe. And you know. You could tell by the way his stance, his posture, that it wasn't right. Um, but Tony Bellew, hey, listen, good luck though. You know, he's after payday, he's looking to secure his family's future, you know, and that's what this game's all about. It's, um, you know, so good luck to Tony Bellew, you know, I like the kid.